You know that some salons have never even had to close during the pandemic. Some salons closed and they're now in the process of reopening. Some have opened and have already had to close again. And other salons have been given a far off date in the distance, like here in the UK, where it looks like July the 4th as our probable reopening date. So who knows what the future holds for any of us. But regardless of what situation you are in, ongoing communication with your clients is going to be essential, whether it's a one-to-one -one phone call or social media post or messaging, or perhaps more formal like email campaigns. Regardless though of how you communicate, you really need to keep reaching out to clients to let them know the steps that you're taking so that you're ready and prepared for when it is time to reopen. But one of the things that I think is important is that we don't get overly caught up in focusing on what might be perceived as the negative images of having to wear face masks and maybe gloves and visors, etc. when they're in the salon. Instead, where possible, try and play down the seriousness of what the new salon environment might look like when it comes to informing clients of the new reality and what we're going to expect from them and in turn what they can expect from us. For example, over the last few years, many of the airlines have taken what is also a very serious subject being in-flight safety, and they've mixed an element of humour with it to keep us engaged with what the message is, but at the same time educating us about our safety. Recently, I've seen some salons doing very similar videos and are taking a light-hearted approach to walk clients through all those things like, you know, no kids in the salon and wait in the car until we text you to come in and, you know, temperature checks and wearing visors and gloves and face masks. I'm sure you get the idea of the sort of thing I'm talking about. So that's my challenge to you. Let's use some of this pent-up creativity to make a short three to five minute video for the purpose of addressing the serious issues of client safety, but doing it in a light-hearted, fun way while still getting the message across about the steps that you're taking and the steps that you'll be expecting them to take. And if you put them on your social media channels, then please don't forget to tag me in them at Grow My Salon Business and at Paul Mitchell Pro because I'd love to see what it is that you do. So until next time, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.